What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm going to answer a question that was sent in to me on how do you insert a tracked Milky Way sky to your photo when you're taking a selfie shot like this because you have a light source that intersects with the horizon. It can make it a little bit tricky for the sky replacement, especially around this light source. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Now ideally, I like to take these type of photos or let's say a photo of a lighthouse um, by using a stacking method just because it makes life a little bit easier. However, this is still very much possible and we're gonna jump right into it. Now first things first, I wanna brighten up this photo to make life a little bit easier when I go into Photoshop to do the sky replacement because if it's too dark, it's gonna be hard for it to uh, identify the sky. So let's just run auto on this photo just to make life a little bit easier and quicker. And that brightened things up pretty nicely. I'm just gonna cool it down a hair lower my highlights a little bit more and I want to insert a uh, gradient and put that onto the sky just to brighten it up a little bit more and create some more separation all right that should be good right there now in case I need it and I'm not saying I will but I took an additional photo of the light source and I try to put it on a black background right here using the trees in the distance. Now ideally you want to put your light on a light stand and have a nice black background to isolate the light and that way you could drop it into your photos later on if you need it. This is just a quick and janky way that I did this. Um, it's not ideal so uh, I'm going to try and make it work. It should be fine. So let's take our two photos and jump over into Photoshop. So go to photo edit in open as layers in Photoshop alright so here we are in Photoshop I just want to make a copy of this layer and next we're gonna to go to edit sky replacement now if you don't have your Milky Way already dropped into sky replacement all you have to do is hit this drop down button and hit the little plus icon over here at the bottom and then search for your Milky Way and uh, drop that into the folder here and then you're good to go now I'm just going to do this really quick, zoom in here, um, it did a pretty decent job already, but you can play around with your shift edge if you need to, um, and fade edge, that looks pretty decent, I'm just going to brighten up the sky a little bit more, and hit OK. So as you can see, it does a really good job even dealing with this light source. Now it did take some of that away, and what we could do is take the copy that I made and drag that to the top above the sky replacement folder change the blend mode to lighten you can see it brought back more of the light source but it also is uh, removing some of the horizon away as well so we're gonna fix that so create a layer mask and we're gonna switch to black and grab my bucket just to fill that next I want to take my paintbrush switch back to white and we'll zoom in here and make sure it's on a low opacity and just start painting back in just around the light source to brighten that up and just fade that into the sky a little bit better and I'll do that on my hat and arm as well so here's before without it and this is what we painted back some of that glow and it looks nice and natural now if you're still having issues blending, you could take that isolated light source that we created and drop that on top. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So first things first, I wanna hide these layers. And we're gonna just remove my arm out of this. That's why I was saying you kinda of wanna do this on a light stand with a nice ba uh, black background, but I'll make this work. All right, so the first thing we want to do is isolate the light better. So I'm going to delete a lot of this photo. So create a circle around it. And it's at a feather of 25. I'm going to reduce that to about 10 pixels. And then go to select inverse and just hit delete. Okay, now I just want to create a copy then just go to edit free transform and flip horizontal 
I'm just going to lower the opacity and line the light source up better, right about there. And I'm going to create a layer mask. Grab my brush. And I'm just going to lower the size of this layer mask and increase the opacity to around 15%. And make sure it's on black. I'm just going to paint away my arm. Alright, there we go. We have our light source. And I just want to take, I'm going to merge that down. And take my burn tool. And I just want to burn the shadows around the edges here just to darken them as much as possible since I didn't do this on a pure black background. So now I'm just going to work from a copy and drag that above the other photos that we currently created. So let's bring them back in. So I turn those layers back on and now with this light source I can change the blend mode to lighten or screen. I prefer screen and we're going to drag this anywhere on our photo we need it so in this case I want to drag it over here now you can see some artifacts so it's not perfect this is why with a black background being much nicer I could always paint those out so it's not the end of the world and this is just a quick and easy way of me showing you guys how to do something like that so now I can drop it on top of this light source and play around with the opacity if need be And I could always create this layer mask and paint away any of these artifacts that I still have. All right, so so here's before and here's after. So I brightened that up nicely. So that's how you would do this if you were having issues with your tracked Milky Way sky blending with your light source. You could also do this with lighthouses as well. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.